Hello and welcome to the update video for Venue Synthesis version 1.2. In this robust update, numerous enhancements were introduced to make the application quicker and be easier to use. The application theme can now be switched from dark to light theme. To switch to the light theme, click the hamburger menu, select settings, then the user interface tab. From here, toggle the application to light. Alternatively, Select the system option to have the application follow the computer's global light or dark theme automatically. The new light theme makes it easier to see the application in bright sunlit conditions. In venue mode, the import geometry functionality has been optimized to improve the import speed of large and complex models that would have previously stalled the application. While the import is happening, the progress bar will now accurately represent the status of the import process. Once loaded, complex models with hundreds of thousands of polygons can be manipulated without application sluggishness. Having the ability to process and manipulate complex venue files saves users from needing to simplify models in third-party software before importing the file. Multiple planes can now be selected quicker using the new lasso selection tool located in the toolbar or by hitting the L key. With the lasso tool active, click and drag to draw around all of the planes you wish to select. Drawing in a clockwise orientation creates a blue selection trace and will select only planes that are fully encapsulated by the trace. Drawing in an anti-clockwise direction draws an orange selection trace and will select every plane that is touched by the selection trace. Being able to select numerous planes in one quick motion is helpful for tagging, but also can be used with the Move and Rotate tools to rearrange venue geometries easily. In Venue Synthesis, tags are used to organize venue geometry into logical control groups. In previous versions of the application, it was imperative that new tags be created prior to selecting the planes that you wish to assign to the tag. With this latest update, planes can now be selected first and then added to a new tag from the tag drop-down menu, or by hitting Control or Command plus the T key. Triggering the tag shortcut will create a new tag in the tags list and will already include the selection of planes. The tag can be given a new name and the plane type can be set as usual. After using drawing tools like the pen or extrude tool to create new geometry, the resulting planes are automatically selected, making it easy to organize them into a new tag right away with this update. In Venue Synthesis, planes have an inside and an outside face. As a model is manipulated, the user can see through the plane if they are facing the outside, and it will appear solid when facing the inside. This graphical technique allows users to see inside of models that are fully enclosed by planes without needing to disable the visibility of walls or ceilings. Most importantly, acoustic energy can only be mapped on the inside of a plane, so setting the correct direction is very important. Often, the default plane orientation from imported models will vary or be incorrect. In some cases, blocking the view into the model and preventing users from being able to accurately map acoustic energy. Previously, users would need to select each reversed plane and orient it correctly by right-clicking on the plane or hitting the I key when selected. A new automatic plane orientation tool can automate this process for users. First, make a selection of the affected planes. Then, right-click and select Auto Plane Orientation from the menu. The application will locate the center of the selected planes and manipulate the plane orientation so that each correctly faces the center of the selection. In Acoustics mode, the new SRX 918SF and 915SF flown subwoofers have been added to the product library. Add these subwoofers directly to the venue to create suspended or ground deployed arrays. If the ACK1 casters are being used to transport the flown SRX subwoofers, make sure to enable them in the rear casters drop down menu under the General tab. 
As they do affect the subwoofer center of gravity, it is important that the model accurately reflect this option before computing array geometries. Mixed arrays can easily be created by adding an SRX 906LA or 910LA system group to the venue and then changing the model of the top cabinets in the array from the properties panel under the cabinets dropdown. System groups can now be mirrored over a selected axis by right-clicking on the system group in the groups panel and selecting Mirror. Select the venue axis you want to mirror the group over, and then a new mirrored group will be created. Where users would have previously needed to duplicate system groups and manually reposition arrays within the copy, the mirror function helps users to achieve symmetrical configurations effortlessly. The Move tool can now be used on multiple system groups simultaneously. Hold the Shift key to multi-select arrays belonging to multiple system groups in the Venue workspace or the Groups panel. Then, select the Move tool or hit the M hotkey to move all selected arrays at the same time. In situations where the same speaker layout is used numerous times at multiple venues, the venue geometry can be replaced for each unique show, leaving the speaker layout intact. The Move tool can now be used to reposition the entire system in the new venue while maintaining the same relative spacing between elements from the previous show. The Shift key can now be held to draw straight lines with compatible tools such as the Pen tool, Tape Measure, or Special Object Creator. With the Pen or Tape Measure tool, click to create a new point, then move the mouse to a second point while holding the Shift key. The line will be locked into straight segments at 45 degree increments as long as the shift key is held. Within the special object creator window, the shift key can also be held after two points are created to adjust a drawn line segment to be in a straight line from the preceding point. Numerous improvements have been made to the mapping functionality within Acoustics Mode. Under the Weighting dropdown, a new C frequency weighting has been added, and the old Unweighted option has been reclassified as Z Unweighted. AES-75, sometimes referred to as Music Noise, has been added as a signal type in the Generator dropdown. The color scale produced from the Signal Generator output can now be visualized in 1dB color increments, as well as the existing 6dB, 3dB, and full-scale options. The Tape Measure tool can now be used in any 2D view in the application to measure the distance between points of interest. Within any of the 3D model windows, the Tape Measure tool can be activated after first selecting one of the flat 2D views from the 3D gizmo in the bottom right corner of the model window. The tape measure can then be opened from the Tools dropdown or by hitting the T key. Select a start point, then an end point to get the distance. New to this version, from any 2D window, the tape measure tool can now be activated the same way without needing to first adjust the model view. And remember, the Shift key can also be held to measure in straight lines. From all of us here at JBL, thank you for watching and happy designing.